What one piece of advice would you give anybody interested in the profession? It's a trap. <laughs> Anyone that would like to become anyway involved in IP, I think the best thing they can do is go out, see how IP actually interacts in the real world at the moment. There's a difference between what's in the books and academia and what's actually in the real world. I think my advice would be stick at it. Um, there will be days when you're sort of going, oh my God, this is too much, the exams and the work, and uh, I don't understand what it's, what it's about, but just keep going because it's really, really re rewarding um, and you will get there in the end, I promise. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just taking an active interest in it is probably key. Really wanting to be a patent attorney. How did I get into IP? Well, my um, introduction to IP was completely um, luck, out of luck. Uh, basically, it was my uh, first day in the uni in, for my master's degree. I went, attended to a careers fair and just met with um, Win Jones. And that was my first um, introduction to IP. And from that moment, I realized there is something interesting about it. There is something that I have never been able to um, find, ab find out about myself because I was always in the technical background, technical side of the engineering. And IP is, I think, the best way to put the technical knowledge into um, an applied and social perspective because it's not only dealing with the technology, but also dealing with the people and since we are mostly in the forefront of those people who are explaining us the technology, who are the experts, um, there's no better way to sort of um, understand and enjoy the knowledge from that way. So pretty early on in my degree, I realized I wasn't a very good engineer. Um, and so I decided to look for other things, but the other options I were given didn't really interest me that much. Um, I came across IP and realised it was a good use of my degree still, while not being a straight engineer. Um, it still meant that I could work with technology and really cool inventions, but I wouldn't actually have to be the one creating the inventions, which I'm not very good at. It was actually kind of a happy coincidence for me. Uh, so. I did physics with astronomy at university um, because that's not really an engineering degree. I didn't sort of have the same talks about patents as uh, engineers do at, at Southampton Uni. Um, and so I didn't really know what IP was beyond copyrights and trademarks. Um, I went to a careers fair and I got chatting to this, uh, this company who, who were also doing IP there at the careers fair. and. They told me about it, um, I read more into it, I got really excited because it was something that was up my street, it was using my degree, um, but it wasn't data crunching, which I really didn't want to end up doing. Uh, so yeah, I think that's why I sort of fell into that path and really glad I followed it.